I have learned the skills. I am empowered to lead. I will be a mentor for others. Yeah. Train, empower, and send. That's the purpose and the value behind our week-long training program in partnership with the Culinary Institute of America, one of the most prestigious culinary training programs in the country. The Urban School Food Alliance, a collective of 18 of the largest districts in the country, believes that having a skilled labor force in school nutrition programs is the key to offering the highest quality and healthiest meals to our nation's children. Attendees of this specifically developed school nutrition training include USFA member district chefs, dietitians, and food service trainers. Embarking on our second year, the continued emphasis of the training program is not only to learn culinary training skills, but also how to apply the skills learned to increase plant-forward menu items. The group gathered here on the Culinary Institute of America campus in San Antonio are not only learning how they can return home to better train their district staff, but also share best practices with one another. The chefs and educators with the CIA are trained to teach culinary skills to attendees of all skill levels, which is very important to the Lions. We believe that training on how to best handle, prep, cook, and serve school meals should be accessible to all. These expert culinary trainers have great tips for being successful in all types of kitchens. Let's hear from the trainers about our collaboration. Culinary training is important in school nutrition because we're really laying a foundation of skills that not all employees have. And what we want to do is really create that environment where they have the confidence to be making a lot of food for students. Schools are serving 200, 500, 2,000 meals a day, and they need those skills because that is a definitely a specific skill set of how to cook and how to be efficient when you're cooking. In this culinary skills program, if we're going to be making healthy, delicious food in our school nutrition kitchens, we need to give them the culinary skills that they need to produce that food and know how to work with food and really understand why we cook the way we do from a technical standpoint to make it um, delicious and also for presentation and appeal. I love to think about the effect that this training has on school meals as we're moving forward. School meals are changing one meal at a time, one item at a time, and it's going to be a slow process. For example, uh, this year one of our trainees had commented on the quickles or the quick pickles that they were doing in their school now based on what they learned last year. And it's so exciting to see that one change from last year being implemented in the school districts. I also uh, see where they're taking in this information that they're gonna go back and then multiply it to hundreds of school nutrition professionals. In no time at all, the participants start to feel more relaxed and confident in their training. They're even having fun learning new skills. And learning these basic culinary concepts helps participants understand what's possible when it comes to preparing fresh, flavorful school meals and empowers them to take the knowledge they've gained and put it into practice in their districts. Here are a few of their thoughts on the impact this training will have. I'm Andronita Ward. Um, my experience before I came to the training, well, I was an elementary manager for eight years. I had no culinary experience. After the training, I have a lot of knife skills I've learned how to blanch vegetables. I've learned the difference between roasting, steaming, when, when to do it, when not to do it. And then I also have learned um, that I can't wait to go back to work, to go work with my managers in my, in my position side by side and talk, teach them every little thing that I know so they can pass it on to their side. So my approach to training is always evolving. Uh, I teach a lot of recipe conversion and I pretty much go word for word. But learning, knowing the different techniques, how important they are, and the building of flavor profiles with each recipe are just as important as reading the recipe. It, it makes so much sense to make, to, to spend more time going through the process, not just putting things in a bowl and, and cooking or baking them. It's been an awesome uh, visit so far. The instructors are just awesome. They bring real world training. So I'm hoping more colleagues will get a chance to uh, come and visit and across the country. It has changed my mindset of what we can do, not what we can't do. So the, it's very impactful 
And as, as we transition back to scratch cooking, this class is awesome. So I really felt my confidence grow this week in seeing how manageable it is to put fresh foods in schools. We have a really large school district, but being able to see that other school districts are doing the same thing, implementing these new items in their menus, and having the agility, whether you're a small school district or a big district, to make these positive changes is um, very inspiring to me, so I'm looking forward to bringing that back to the district. This year, we were honored to have Andrew Kaplan, the co-founder and director of Rachel Ray's Yummo organization, and director of the Rachel Ray Foundation visit and observe the training. They have been generous supporters of the Urban School Food Alliance and our culinary training programs. While on site, Andrew shared with us why training for school food service professionals is important to their foundation. My name is Andrew Kaplan. I'm the co-founder and director of Rachel Ray's Yummo organization and the director of the Rachel Ray Foundation. We have three pillars at Rachel's Cooking and Kids Philanthropy, as we like to say, cook, feed, and fun. So our cooking is a cooking education component. Feeding is feeding hungry kids and funding is funding cooking education and scholarships. Now we have a number of partners across the country, probably over 30 or so in the Urban School Food Alliance is one of our main partners when it comes to scratch cooking, school meals, and the whole space of school meals in general. We think it's incredibly important to fund these trainings for scratch cooking and school food and school meals. We have 23 students here from different schools across the country. Um, they're heroes in our book, as Rachel likes to say. School meals, schools in general, are one of the only level playing fields we have to give our kids nutritious and delicious meals. Um, the, the foundation that they're laying here at CIA, the, the cooking skills, the techniques all these students are learning, they're gonna go back and train some of the staff members and their colleagues that they work with. And we just hope it's kind of this ripple effect that it goes into different schools, different districts, different towns across the country. Closing on our second training, we can now reflect on the program's overall success. Attendees from last year have returned to their districts with newfound knowledge, culinary skills, and confidence. Excitement has been built, and the desire to attend this year's training increased. Most importantly, since the last event, we have seen similar training events being held in LA, and reports from several of our districts that this training was a game changer for their employees. We appreciate the continued partnership we have with the Culinary Institute of America and look forward to seeing what these participants take back and the impact it has on their school district nutrition programs in the coming year. To learn more about the Urban School Food Alliance and the initiatives that we value, please visit us online at urbanschoolfoodalliance.org.